this is the PS5. And when this console got released, there was chaos around the whole world. This is such a good console that it got like sold out in just a minute or so. Um, now, what if you compare the PS5 with the gaming PC? Well, that's what I'm going to be discussing in this video. What does the PS5 need to be a gaming PC? So, that is the real question we will be answering in this video today. After the intro, we'll start. says $650 while but if you add tax to that that becomes 700 something dollars and if you they tell you to buy a mic game or anything with it game $800 if you buy a mic $900 that is a whole lot of money for just the next gen console but gaming PC cheapest gaming PC you can buy is around uh, 600 dollars which is really cheap for a gaming PC. Biggest gaming PC you can buy, best gaming PC you can buy, is $40,000. That's a huge price difference. PS5 has only one version, while gaming PCs have millions. This is why the gaming PC is more expensive. Now, let's talk about what the PS5 needs. About what the PS5 needs to be a gaming PC. Really, what it really needs. So, let's talk about... First, let's talk about processors. The PS5 is not... doesn't have any processor. That's pretty obvious, obviously. Because it's not a PC. But... If you can't put a processor, you can't put a like a uh, gaming processor just like Ryzen on on the motherboard of this of the PS5. So if you if so you can put it only on gaming motherboard. The processor is really important. It's because uh, the processor makes sure how fast the the um, um, PC is. How fast the PC is. Um, it can make the PS5 much more faster, much more. And the PS5, it, it, as you know, is already very, very fast. Like it's so, like up the top, quick. Um, but you can make it even faster by adding adding a processor to this. Second thing, gaming motherboard. A gaming motherboard is the most important part of what to make of to make PS5 into a gaming PC. Mother gaming motherboards have basically when you buy the gaming products for your PC for your gaming PC, you need a different motherboard. You can't just use a normal motherboard just like the PS5 has. If you've seen the PS5 teardown, you should see it, uh, the link will be in the description below. Um, you would see that it has a normal motherboard. And really, you can't connect gaming things to that normal motherboard. You need a gaming motherboard. The gaming motherboards are really important, are the most important part of the PC. Third thing, last but not least, the CPU. The CPU and GPU, PS5 definitely need. Why, you might be asking? Well, the graphics card of the PS5 is already good, yes. 120 FPS, 
But gaming PCs can range up to 120 FPS to 5,000, 1,000, 2,000 FPS. That's how good the quality is for the gaming PC. And that's all on the graphics card. You need a graphics card for your PS5 to make it into a gaming PC. So, if you ever looked inside a P PS5, you would see that it has a fa one fan. And that's okay, because this is not giant as a gaming PC yet. But, if you're looking at, like, you can get, like, a RGB fan, so it could be better. It will look better. So, you have, the like, colors on the fan. And what should uh, and design also counts. Well, the design of the PS5 right now, it's not the things that you you're gonna add are not gonna fit in there obviously. So you're gonna have to make your PS5 really really fast. And to do that, so basically to make a gaming PC and a PS5 mix together, mix both of their parts together, but makes the most important gaming parts to the PS5. The PS5 also needs a power supply unit to for for it to work like a gaming PC. And I guess that's it. All what the PS5 needs to be a game to uh, make it a gaming PC. So guys thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next video. We